February 5, 2021, 8.31 a.m. MELBOURNE, Australia, majors are what matters at this stage for Serena Williams. After agreeing Friday to the notion that she could consider her next Grand Slam title to be her favorite, she withdrew from a scheduled semi-final match against top-ranked Ash Barty in a tune-up event, citing an injured right shoulder, not long after the draw for the Australian Open was made. For her latest bid to equal Margaret Court's all-time record of 24 Grand Slam singles titles, Williams was drawn in the same quarter as second-ranked Simona Halep and the same half as No. 3 Naomi Osaka, the U.S. Open champion. Osaka will face Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova in the first round and has major champions Angelique Kerber, Garbine Muguruza, Venus Williams and Bianca Andreescu in her quarter. Defending champion Sofia Kennan is in the top half of the women's draw along with Bardi, and they could potentially meet in the semi-finals again. Two-time Australian Open champion Victoria Azarenka, Johanna Conta and Alina Svitolina are also in Kennan's quarter. First up for Williams will be Laura Siegmund of Germany, and that could be either Monday or Tuesday depending on how the schedule is worked out. Williams already has won seven Australian Open titles and her 23 major titles as a record in the Open era. Williams didn't mention any injuries or pain during her post-match interview after beating Danielle Collins on Friday. She said she feels much younger than her 39 years and took a bit of inspiration from Tampa Bay quarterback Tom Brady, who at 43 is playing in his 10th Super Bowl. I feel good. I look at Tom Brady, it's so inspiring, Williams said. I think with all the new things, all the new technology, all the new physical treatments, rehab, things that you can do, I don't know what that age means anymore. She was asked about Brady's theory that his next championship would be his favorite. Yeah, I mean, that would absolutely be my answer. It's a great way to think, she said. Because otherwise you're living off of what you already did. Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal are also chasing records. The second-ranked Nadal, aiming to win a men's record 21st major singles title, he moved equal with Roger Federer by winning last year's French Open, will open against Laszlo Jur and could face fifth-seeded Stefano Tsitsipas in the quarter-finals. In the top half, Djokovic's bid for a third consecutive Australian title, and ninth overall, could get tricky. The top-ranked Serb has an opener against Jerome Chardy and three-time major champion Stan Wawrinka, Milos Ronic and Alexander Zarev are in his quarter. Wawrinka beat Djokovic in the finals of the 2015 French Open and the 2016 US Open, and has won their last two matches. Then there's the projected semi-final against US Open champion Dominic Thiem, the man Djokovic beat in last year's final to capture his eighth title at Melbourne Park.